Hello y'all. Welcome to part three of my Malta playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Kaiser Redux. In part two, we took out the Belgrade Pact, which was a faction consisting of Serbia, Romania, and Greece, the latter of which we are occupying. And yeah, Greece has been occupied by Malta. And besides that, we declared war on the Ottoman Empire, as well as the Solnit of Egypt, and also, besides all that, the French Empire, led by Napoleon VI, the descendant of Napoleon Bonaparte, well, he's a relative, he declared war on our puppet, the Kingdom of Italy. So now we're fighting the Entente. And a weird thing here about Napoleon fighting Malta, for some history trivia, I guess, in the Napoleonic era, Napoleon, well, the French occupied Malta, and that ended the Knights era of rule over Malta. So it's very strange to see that we're fighting. It's very odd to see Malta fighting France kind of in this world. Also, there's some history between the Maltese and the Ottomans. So that's also kind of fascinating to watch. They had a whole siege of Rhodes. The Knights were there, then they got kicked out. Then the Ottomans tried to fall, fight for Malta, but the Knights held on. And Besides that, we're, I'm done talking about history and such. We're going to go ahead and move back some troops out of the Ottoman territory we are advancing into because I got a feeling something weird is going to happen, so move back to Western Thrace. Just defend that and just move out all these troops here of the 2nd Army. I guess go ahead and set up some... set up a new front line. I think that could work. Well, set up some naval invasions. That would be ideal. So move these troops here to Athens. Also move the units of the of the what the the army, the second army here. Give them some naval invasion orders. Get them set up. And the reason I'm doing this is because I think, if I recall from previous playthroughs, once the Ottoman Empire gets to low war score and they get to the point of being defeated. I mean, once they get to the point of not having control over most of their victory points, they will kind of transform into Turkey, which may result in our units being forcefully teleported back to Malta. So we want to sort of be out on the watch, keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't affect us too badly. So we're going to go ahead and set up precautions and get ready to invade Turkey for a second time, should that occur. And that's why we're moving some divisions out. Also, in part two, I didn't mention this, but the Entente invaded Belgium through the coastal region, which is, I guess you could call Montenegro. That is sort of what has occurred there. And right now we're holding on to Belgrade with the Austrians and their subjects. And we're just trying to hold the line at this point in that area. Let's get all these troops moved around. Well, we have a free dockyard. Let's use that for something productive, like build some convoys. Convoys are always nice to have. I mean, we only have nine. Let's move back the entire Maltese military force. Because, yeah. Just be careful. Get back to Western Thrace. Better safe than sorry. And it's happened. The Ottoman Empire has become Turkey. And fortunately, we did move some divisions back already before that happened so we have the two four divisions of the fourth army here in Constantinople well near near Constantinople they're in Thrace at this time so get all these troops over to this area and start driving on the city the capital of Turkey immediately and a thing about this is that basically Turkey has pieced out with the Cairo axis and at this point they are only fighting us well the Andral, the Dona Adrabond, and the Anton. And that means they're no longer threatened in their east and to their south. Although we still have to fight Syria and Egypt. And let's go ahead and start advancing toward Andri I mean Constantinople again. We gotta take it twice. Lovely. Hopefully the Turkish divisions don't get here in time to stop our advance. I really hope they don't. We have tons of naval invasions drawn up to be ready to go. As soon as possible, just take all these provinces. There's like some German division roaming around near Constantinople for some reason. Probably very confused about what's going on. Their ally, well, their, I suppose their former ally in World War One kind of ceased to exist. Keep advancing here, drive forward, take this province in the Dardanelles region, 
drive forward, keep the offensive going. We have only four divisions managing this attack. And actually cross the Dardanelles with this singular division and drive forward into Anatolia. And that will be the, I guess, the plan for the offensive there. Use one mountain division to take a province. Possibly cancel the, halt the order. What are you doing? Hold this line here, please. Do that. And let's move the entire third army to this line in Anatolia and have them start pushing into this area here. And at this point, the Turks don't really have to worry about fighting the Anton anymore in North Africa, so all their focus is going to probably be on stopping us from invading their country. And we'll make sure we'll do our best to overwhelm their defenses. And can we stop this order, please? I just want to move around. I want to surround these troops. Let me do it, game. Halt the order. What? Okay, whatever. We're going to attack these divisions, though. Keep them occupied. We just got to get the third army to arrive in time. Can you please attack a different place? Halt the order. Are you just stuck in line here? Oh, my goodness. That's frustrating. Keep attacking that one division, though. Can you not surround them? Forget it. At least the first army and the third army is going to be here to fight the Ottomans. And how is the second army doing? They have naval orders ready. I mean, the naval invasions can't really be activated yet, but they're going to be ready at some point. Keep attacking to, to keep the enemy busy. Come on, get that done. And we have tons of... Okay, yeah, we just lost a chance to take that area. I guess we'll advance on... Constantinople now, because it's not really defended by as many divisions as it was. Great, so it looks like advancing into Anatolia may be a problem. Take these units here, take on these divisions before they dig in, and that may be easier said than done. We have a focus tree. Well, okay, let's do a focus. Let's do maybe research councils to get a... get a what? Get the... oh my goodness, the Belgians are in near Thessalonica. We're going to do a focus that will let us get another research slot because honestly, having two, having only two research slots is painful in Hearts of Iron 4. I will say that. And how is the push going here? It is going to best be expected. We are stopping an Ottoman counterattack, but it does not look like we're taking Constantinople at this time. And any news of a naval invasion being launched? Not yet. Oh well. And there's some naval battles going on in the Adriatic. Can you please push out these enemy divisions? We need more troops from Hungary, don't we? Can Hungary provide any divisions? Any at all? That would be ideal. Can you... Any forces? Any soldiers? Any soldiers at all? None. Polish state? Like, a couple. You have volunteers from Germany, but they're just sitting in Poland. What are you doing, Polish state? You have volunteers from Germany, but they're just watching Lithuania. I don't get it, but... Okay, whatever. What can I say? Move these units down to go help the 5th Army, which has basically been destroyed. There's only one division remaining in the 5th Army. That's defending Belgrade. And how is the push going here? It is going not well. Calls the bulk of our allies' army. is busy fighting in Serbia. This wouldn't have been so bad if the Serbians just sent one division to defend the port. All they had to do was defend one port. And this would have been under control. I can tell you that now. Keep advancing in Anatolia. Just drive back the enemy, ultimately. I wish we had a wider front to fight on, but we just don't. I really hope we do get one to fight on. Let's pause here real quick. Keep these enemies occupied so they don't reinforce that one Turkish division that's going to be broken down soon, I think. And they're really going all in on protecting Constantinople. I mean, it is their capital. We are not going to be able to pierce it. Empire of Japan declared war on the Dutch East Indies. And that's happening. We took that one province near Thessalonica. That was under enemy control. Let's keep attacking these enemy troops here near this area we're trying to pierce into. Sultan of Egypt and annexed the country. Okay, there's some there's some Ottoman counterattacks somewhere. I mean they're going on in Antrianople. They're not really accomplishing much. We did break through here. Let's go ahead and move some cavalry forward and use them like budget motorized to advance forward. And these are Hungarian cavalry fighting in the, well, they're fighting in Anatolia. 
And here is a fascinating thing. We have tons of puppets as Malta. At this point, I have player-led peace conferences on, so that's no surprise. And the strange thing is, is that this, okay, the German-Japanese war is taking place. The interesting thing is, I guess, is that our little, how to say, crusade into Turkey has a lot of countries that have had a lot of conflicts with the Ottomans, well, Turkey in the past. Like, you see Hungary, they had crusade, they had the crusade of Varna, I believe. Poland relieved Vienna, the Polish state is there, Romania, well, Walczechia, Vlad the Impaler, I guess you could technically include them. Serbia, I believe, had to break away from the break away from the Ottoman Empire and declare independence originally. Or maybe I'm wrong with that, I'm not so not so sure. Italy has a history with the Ottomans, and well, not when it was not uni not as a unified state, but I guess that history is kind of there. And of course, Malta has a history with the Ottomans, the Knights of St. John, the Sovereign Military of Order of Malta, to be more specific, calls it that whole incident with Rhodes and Malta. Uh, they tried, they sieged Rhodes, the Ottomans did, they won, and so the Knights fled, and they had to defend Malta, and what is going on in the Western Mediterranean? There was a naval battle. Okay, I really need the Entente to fight the, oh wow, the Belgians are losing ground rapidly in southern Serbia. They got some units surrounded, one bicycle division. That is unfortunate. That is bad. That is really bad. So let's destroy them. And let's also give an order to the Third Army to start trying to advance. Oh no, they already have the order. Never mind. And it looks like we took a province in Andrianople. Can't really do much with it at this time. We're still fighting for Constantinople. I really need naval superiority in this war. I really do need it. I need it so badly. <laughs> Come help us, please. Why can't you give us units? We need your navy, Italy. Send your navy. Why can't I request your navy? I wish that was a command. I wish that was a possible thing you could do. You can request divisions from your puppet, but you can't request your navy. Can I call you to arms? Are you involved in this war at all? Call to arms. Okay, I think they're actually involved. They're just not doing anything. And we're going to break this group of Turkish divisions here. Israel declared war on Galarangia. That has occurred. And it looks like an encirclement is taking place in Serbia. The Belgian army is just going to be gone after this little adventure, aren't they? It looks like they are, honestly. It seems like that the formation of the Anti-Goran Pact takes place in, I think, Africa. Keep pushing on Constantinople. We have taken all of the provinces to its west, so let's just advance here more. Keep pushing, never stop. Drive on toward the capital of the Ottoman Empire. We will have our victory. Just overwhelm their troops with our numbers and with our men from all of the puppets of Malta. Yeah, let's try to get that port there. Why are they? Oh, they're really defending that port hard, aren't they? Wow, they are. We need to take that port, though. Just surround it, cut it off, attack these troops. Move back, though. Move back. Why can you guys back us up? We just need one division to be in this province. One division to be in the province. Back us up. Back us up. The homies called into a war. Great. Well, at least we moved, that, moved back that one Serbian division. And so that disaster is averted in Serbia with that one division there. And it looks like Malta is no close. Well, they're, we're getting toward Istanbul. Oh, we've launched our naval invasions. Okay. And it looks like a few of them may be repelled, or all of them may be repelled. Because, yeah, we got to deal with the Ottomans having naval superiority. I mean, they, have, they aren't focusing on anyone else. So they can just worry about protecting their cities from naval invasions which is a problem for us, because obviously we want our naval invasions to succeed. And the Georgian Socialist State declared war on an independent Armenia. That has occurred. Maybe, though, with the Ottomans distracted with these naval invasions, we might be able to break through somewhere. Not an Antalya, though. That's going to be a lost cause. Smyrna, no. Rhodes, no. I guess we'll try this again and hope it works. And, yeah. Let's try these enemy troops out of Serbia, though, and keep it on lockdown this time. Yeah, the Belgian army's gone. They're going to be gone. That is brutal. Look at all those divisions. They're stuck there. That's a, that has to be the entire Belgian army that's going to be lost in Serbia because they got cut off from any kind of support. If we can take Rhodes, that would be ideal, I guess. Maybe. Put more divisions on this order. And they'll try again at some point to take that area put more divisions on this order here to move towards Smyrna, get that done, or something like that. 
keep pushing forward. Are we taking, we're not getting any closer to, wait, we're not getting any closer to taking the Ottoman, the Turkish capital, are we? It does not seem like we are, not in the slightest. And that is kind of infuriating, but that is what is happening. And it looks like these naval invasions are gonna stall out, nothing's gonna succeed. Iran's gonna invade Iraq, which is pretty small compared to real life Iraq. And they have no allies, like they're not even in a faction. And we just finished a focus, let's do national identity. And in our research tree, let's start doing, possibly, let's start this, concentrated industry three. Get that started, no national focus set, that's just outdated information, modified government, modified government. So we have now early mobilization, or well, mid mobilization, what is that? What is it called? Partial mobilization. Mo partial mobilization and Eurasia occupied Finland I think Finland is down my goodness the Ottomans are not making this easy why can't we have more oh my goodness we need to take these ports so badly we're launching more naval invasions they don't go well and here we are with some terrible naval invasions okay let's just abandon this plan this is clearly not working it's not working at all I guess we'll just have more divisions set up to take somewhere else yeah, this is not panning out at all. Go for Adana, though. Maybe also Aleppo. Get that area there. Where, where are those Marines at? They're still doing naval invasions. Yes, they are. Great, so let's get the tanks. Do we have a tank? No, we'll have to use militia and garrison troops, it looks like. Oh, well. Get the militia, then. Militia will have to march on. Have to try and take this place down here land down there. They may fight the Syrians though, so I'm not sure if that will end well. Yeah. So we're going to have to land more so in what would be modern day Syria. Well, Syria in our timeline and in Adana. We really need naval superiority. We don't got it right now. Just a pain to push. Really it is. And we have driven the Entente out of Serbia. Now let's take the units of this army here and go defend our cat. The, this one port we had to protect, really. That would be probably a good idea. Let's move some more divisions from the Polish. Iraq got annexed by Iran. Move some more divisions from the Polish state. Get them down here, please. Move them to the, I don't know, the third army who's trying to advance forward. And when should this naval invasion be ready soon enough? I don't, know, I don't know when we'll ever have naval superiority to even enact these naval invasions, but we'll try to do something. I just wish we didn't have to fight the whole Ottoman and the whole of Turkey for this invasion at this point. It's just infuriating. Can we take this area at all? No. We won. We win one battle, and there's a thousand. Somebody got annexed. Gabon got. Gabon joined the Entente. And Mexico defeated the Central American Republic. That has occurred. I see. And we cannot break through here. It's not going well at all. Great. And that is just... Yeah, we're going to be in a long war with Turkey, aren't we? It, it's looking like it. Can we launch this naval invasion yet? We need naval superiority. Don't got it, though. No naval superiority for Malta. Pretty brutal. Doctrines available. Dive bombing. We can't even make planes. I don't even know why I bother with that stuff. Don't worry about this. Can we take? We cannot take the Ottoman capital. That is not panning out at all. Why can't you just send us support, Italy? We need like five ships. Five ships is all we need. I want your navy. Send me your navy. You have a navy. I just need your ships to be here for like five seconds. Then you can go back home to Taranto. And we are pushing here into what looks like well, the Eastern Mediterranean is not really a problem. Okay, the naval invasion is a go-ahead. And I hope that the Ottomans, are, well, Turkey is not really defending this area of their country too well. That is to hope. I could be wrong. And I hope I'm right, though, because the Ottomans, I think, are pretty focused on protecting their front in Bursa and Constantinople. So maybe this will be undefended. Yes. Okay, near Adana. Aleppo, well get near Aleppo, then we'll be good, it looks like. So land here, and then flood in with all of the troops of the second army. So get here, please. All of you guys are going to Aleppo. Get to Aleppo. 
and hopefully the Austrians will see our move and start reinforcing this position. We've got to be very careful down here too because we do have to fight Syria as well as the other, as well as the other members of the Cairo Pact. And that's why we've got to be very fast at deploying our units down here. Take this city, take Antep, capture a lot of cities in the in well the in the eastern part of Turkey and what would be today Syria. Keep advancing here though. Just don't worry about taking, say, Jerusalem at this time. There's some Turkish divisions that are working to come meet our advance. Use force attack though. And maybe the Ottomans may start repositioning their troops as we start taking a lot of their cities. And let's make an order here, an offensive line, draw that up. Get these units all involved. Advance forward, please, is all you gotta do. Just advance forward and get some gains for Malta. Please. That's your one objective. Succeed at that. Get that done. Also, try to take Adana for our country. Advance forward. How many, how many units do the Syrians even have? They have four to nine. I'm not worried about fighting them at this time. I don't want to take on the Cairo Axis until the Ottomans are defeated. I mean Turkey. I keep saying the Ottomans. The Ottomans don't exist anymore as a country. And it looks like the... Okay, they're still holding us down somewhat. Near Constantinople. We have a doctrine available. What is this? Okay, mass assault. We're doing mass assault. Do infantry offensive. Get that done. We're pushing more into this area here. Just driving our units forward. Take a sorry. This is a... We gotta take on car. We definitely might be able to capture that if we're fortunate enough. And we have some units down here on the border with Syria. Just hold out there. Just advance more into advance more into say more into Turkey than Syria. Set up a new offensive line. Get that done and drive toward Ankara. Just do that and go forward and hold whatever else. I hope we don't gotta take Jerusalem because we may get we, we may have to deal with the Cairo axis if we do that. Move toward Ankara though. I really need the Ottomans to reposition their army. Please just do it. Keep advancing on Constantinople though. Keep it under siege. And let's keep pushing these enemy troops back. Can we attack the Okay, never mind. Just advance forward. That's all we gotta do. Take Ankara. That'll be a huge blow to Turkey. How much war support? Okay, how much do we need to even beat them? Let me see here. Let me see here. This is going to be over soon, I hope. Turkey, 20% or less. We need to lose Constantinople, Ankara, and quite a few other cities, frankly. So let's take as much as we can in the eastern parts of Turkey, because their units are going to be very spread out. Georgia defeated Azerbaijan, so they, Georgia has defeated both Armenia and Azerbaijan at this point. Advance here. Just drive our units forward. And can we take Constantinople? It's fallen. We've taken Constantinople. Drive forward and go into this area now with the first army. Don't stop. Be aggressive as possible. And try to... Great. Let's move back down with this cavalry unit, this Italian regiment of cavalry. They may, they may try to take Ankara back. We would not like that to happen, but it may occur. And we're moving to reinforce the front line there in Ankara. Try to give us more space to operate. And let's get a new national focus done, technology sharing, and that will give us our fourth technology slot. Doctrine stuff available. Unlock large front offensive. That is going to be done now. And how are we doing with getting out of Constantinople? At least we took the city. Where's the next capital, too? It's in... Well, it's in Western Anatolia. Great. So at least we're holding on to Ankara. Ankara. A peace conference has happened. Paraguay was annexed. All right, we're still pushing back the Ottomans. I mean, Turkey. I keep saying the Ottomans. My goodness. Don't know why. I just am. And keep pushing here. Just drive our units forward. And the Ottomans are being stretched thin, I think. I mean, Turkey? Come on. Say Turkey. They are being stretched out to deal with our advance. And it looks like the... I guess the... Third Army will be able to start making progress now. Use force attack with them and go forward, please. I know it looks like the supply is bad there, but we've got to push forward. All you got to do, connect the lines with the... Connect 
the first army with the second army, with the third army. And that would be a good thing to do. I don't think they're going to try and retake Ankara. It's a little too late for that, I believe. Push here, near Adana. Get that done. Can we advance down the Smyrna, please? Get down to that city, that's all you gotta do. Now let's try to launch a naval invasion, in fact, on that city. Because I think they're moving some troops out of the way. Their garrison's gonna leave. The French Commune is now fighting the French Empire, so that means the Entente is gonna be up against the Third International, and they're gonna be busy with them, fortunately for us. And that is good. French Isles are now in French Exiles, are now in the Weltkrieg or something like that. Not sure, I didn't read that entire event. Oh well. And we're driving forward. Connect the troops here. That would be good. Move on the enemy capital. What's even left? They have, I guess, Samson, which is in Trebizond. Trebizond. I think it's called that. Move toward there, maybe. Push forward up here. Gain some ground. And I don't think the Ottomans can really stop us in Austria. At this point, Brazil joins the Reich's Pact. Okay, that happened. Move here toward this place. In... Okay, and Curtis, well, Dijkenbergkar, get that under control to fall of Lisbon. I think they're in the Entente. Keep moving around, capture as many cities as possible, drive forward, drive back these Turkish cavalry units for Malta. And can we launch this naval invasion yet, please? All you gotta do. And I'm hoping we'll take that place before we even have to launch a naval invasion. And let's cut Turkey in half now, connect those troops, all we gotta do. Advance through this one province here, go to Konya, capture that. It has pretty good victory, well, war score value. Push around here, keep driving forward. Can we get the Smyrna there, though? Capture the city. There's nobody even here anymore, I think, defending the city at all. And it looks like we're going to take Marmais, Marmaris, and Antalya pretty soon. It's not worth much. Well, they're both sort of worth something in terms of victory points. So capture them, we'll capture Mamaris and then Rhodes. And it is not looking good for Turkey at all here. Let me see their war score. It can't be that great. It has to be pretty awful at this point. And that's the wrong war. Let's go to this then. War summary for everything. Somebody join a pact. Faction changes. Okay, yeah, Turkey's going to be defeated relatively soon. As soon as they lose a few more cities, they're done. I think they are anyway. And take this place here that's fallen. There's so much falling for them. We gotta get Trebizond, don't we? We do. It looks like great. Terrific. And any more cities here we gotta capture? Don't believe so. We have some resistance still remaining though, so let's mop them up by just destroying these divisions. Capture this province. And Kara is going to be under control relatively soon. We are encountering some trouble with the Ottoman, the Turkish armored units. And they are giving us some strife because we don't really have an armored, a counter to armor as Malta. We can't really make anti-tank guns. We just have only guns really in our budget, just plain infantry equipment. And can we take this place up here? What is this? Near Sivas? Sivas? Somebody had a peace conference and that was in, that was in Africa. So, yeah, Turkey has capitulated. Victory for us. Take all states. Actually, no, I gotta wait. Reset. Pass. Now, take all states. Done. And let's complete the. We'll get this peace conference over with. And now Malta controls Turkey because we annex everything, which is just crazy to think about. With yet another country defeated. We are one step closer to restoring the Crusader states. And I will say the Ottoman Empire and their army, their army teleporting successor, Turkey, did put up a good fight. And right now, let's have the Third Army set up to fight Syria and Jabal Shamar and Hejaz and Yemen. And we'll have the maybe who the we'll have the first army have the no, the third army take on Egypt, and then we'll have the first army launch naval invasions through the Mediter Mediterranean toward Egypt. Like, take Alexandria, Port Saad, and wherever 
we can find some place to land in and just advance into Egypt and just take them out without having to worry about a long, prolonged conflict. Yeah, we had to do all that because we will have to still fight the Entente, who at the very least is busy losing land to the, I losing land to the Iberian Federation? Yes, they are. Wow. So the Entente is struggling in North Africa, it seems. So at least that takes some pressure off of us and our divisions defending our capital in the Malta, well, the Maltese Archipelago. So let's move the army, army two. Get down here, please. You're going to fight in this area. Take on all these divisions by yourself. You got this. At least Jabal Shamar is fighting Iran at this time who is keeping the enemy, the Cairo Axis, occupied. And get the third army down here to the border with Egypt and have them take them on, please. That would be ideal. And let's advance forward toward the Suez Canal. First army is going to go to Cyprus and set up in a port there, Nicaea, Ni not, not, not Nicaea, but Nicosia, Nicosia. And let's grab a few troops here. Three units will land at, actually no. Yeah, three divisions will land at Alexandria, and three of them will land at Port Said, I think. And if we can accomplish this landing, we can probably end up encircling the bulk of the Egyptian army, which will be a huge blow to them. And let's also set up a naval invasion order for, well, for maybe, possibly, for Serenaka in Benghazi. No, actually, right here will work. Yeah, that's still in the same sea region of Western Mediterranean. So we're going to have three naval invasions set up from Cyprus that will be launched from Cyprus. And their goal is to simply overwhelm the main, the leader of the Cairo Axis, as well as one of their allies. That is the plan there. And once they land, they'll be backed up by some soldiers. And let's go ahead and start getting a new army assembled from our subjects in Italy. Because, actually, no. Let's get some sub some soldiers from our subjects in Poland, because I don't think they're under threat from anyone. Italy, at least ostensibly, if I'm using the word correctly, whatever, at least they're under, under the threat of possible French naval invasion. I mean, they already lost Sardinia, so we might, as well, we might as well not take too many troops from them. But the Romanians and the Serbians, however, they got to contribute to this war effort. And so does Poland. They got to give us more troops. Hand him over Romania. Michael I, thank you for your army. Your contribution is very welcome, even though it's kind of involuntary. You're doing good for Malta, though. And let's move this army down here. I don't know where we go with this. Army 5, we just set up in Greece for now, or in Rhodes. We're using the backup, a naval invasion landing, a beachhead. If we can set one of those up, get some more divisions in Army 5. That'll be done. Any more divisions? Never mind, we're good non-aggression packed offers from the third international members saying no we'll just ignore them really that's basically no now let's have our troops set up for their orders and that naval invasion should be ready in a few days the egyptians don't really have a navy to oppose us i mean we have the italians and the austrians on our side for crying out loud we're essentially going to dominate the mediterranean at this point because the entente navy that would probably be fighting us in this area is at this time busy with the Third International taking over Fran well, French North Africa and also French West Africa. And we're fighting the Egyptians now near Jerusalem. Some, well, some Austrians are actually. They're doing that. And let's take Damascus. Can we capitulate Syria? That might probably be a good idea. So advance from Beirut, what would be today's Lebanon, well, Lebanon in our timeline, and advance there. Hopefully, with Egypt advancing more into Palestine, they will be too busy. Okay, Syria's out of the war already. They'll be too busy to really notice an attack from the Mediterranean, like a naval invasion. And some troops of the Cairo Axis are going to be surrounded in Syria or not. Never mind. Oh, well. Well, one unit is. This is some Egyptian division. They're going to be destroyed. And... Okay, so let's... Okay, the Egyptians aren't doing as well as I thought they were. They're going to lose ground. It looks like Iran peaced out with the Cairo Axis, which will free up the Jabal Shamar troops to fight us in Arabia and Syria. 
Okay then, move in with this tank division of Army 2, this armored unit, and they'll take, move them towards Jaff. Go there, yeah, that will work. We are driving back the Egyptians out of Palestine, move this cavalry division here, flank, 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 encircle, just cut off these units, actually go to Cairo now, if we can just break through Port Sid, Port Said, get there, take this, pro what are you doing, take this province, you don't gotta fight them, go around them, I mean, yeah, if that's an option, don't fight them at all. Just distract them, though. Do keep them busy. That Polish cavalry is on their way. Moving to Port Sid. We don't even have to worry about fighting for it. Just moving to Cairo. Wow, this is an easy war, somehow. It just seems like the... It looks like the 5th Army is going to have to go ahead and be sent in now. Send them into Egypt. Start taking as many cities as possible for Malta. And the Austrians, or, well, for the Dono Adrabond. Adrabond? Whatever. Just get these troops here now, pronto. Cairo has fallen. It now is under the control of our faction. And here comes our naval invasion at this point. They're going to come charging in. Let's take some territory here in Hejaz. Hejaz? Hejaz? Whatever, however you say it. And some Italian troops land near Benghazi, but they get completely destroyed because they have no... They took no ports. Yeah, that was going to be met with disaster, wasn't it? And the second empire of... The Second Empire of Haiti declared war on Puerto Rico. Yes, they did. Faustin II has declared war on Puerto Rico. And we're at war with Jamaica. Oh yeah, they're part of the Anton, that's why. That makes sense. And let's get another factory on firearms. Do that. Keep pushing here. And what is even keeping the... I don't know. Let's just move in with this army into Libya. Well, into Cernica. Get them here, please. Move forward and take any city of value in Egypt. Go south. Go to Aswan in Egypt. There's very few Egyptian forces here at this point. They're cut off, really. I mean, they still have a port, I think. They have two. They have Port Sedan they can use if they have to, but they're going to be... Yeah, it's not going to probably go well for them if they get encircled. Have this remaining division here advance forward. And we're getting some lend lease from the Austrians. We get one convoy a month. What a lovely deal. And the fall of Algiers has occurred. The Iberian Federation was probably involved. Yes, they were. The Spanish did capture that. Well, Spanish, the Portuguese, and the Spanish. And we are encountering more resistance here. Let's go ahead and move the entire, the bulk of the first army into Egypt. What are you guys doing? Get most of these units here. Have them go to Egypt. And just push into Sedan. That's all you gotta do, and the war will practically end itself. So just advance forward and win. Get that done. How's the Anton advance in Egypt going? It, it basically stopped, didn't it? Yeah, it did not go well for France. And then they're just being pushed back now. And in our focus tree, let's do modern warfare, research slot available, do maybe computing machine. That's a nice tech to have. We have what's put enough political power to get war economy, so let's do that now. And we're not really too worried about advancing on the well, on Yemen and Hejaz and Jabal Shamar at this time because once we defeat, once we take out Egypt, all the other countries in the Arabian Peninsula will fall because they're a member of the Cairo Axis. Send one division here to guard this area. What are you doing? guard this area. Like, a couple divisions should be useful here for the 5th Army. Get that done. How are we doing in Cernica? We're holding out. More divisions are flowing in. Although we did sort of divide some of the troops of the 1st Army to push into push into Sedan. Get the Aswan, please. Get the Port Sedan, all you gotta do. And this one. Peace Conference there. Peace Conference, Peace Conference. Peace Conference. I guess Australasian Union, we're no longer at war with them. The second Melbourne Uprising. And we're done! So, this means we're gonna just pass constantly. We have player-led peace conferences on. And, at this point, take all states. Take all states. Take all states. Jabal Shamar, take all states. Sonnet of Syria, take all states. And Hejaz, take all states. And we're done. So the Cairo Axis is, de is defeated. And that is our last, how to say, obstacle for forming the Crusader States once more in this modern age, so to speak. 
And let's end this peace conference now. Big victory from Malta here. Now let's go to our decisions. We can form the Empire about Trimmer or restore the Crusader States. I'm going to restore the Crusader States just so I can see a lot of unique countries that you don't really see too often. If we go with the Empire about Trimmer, we'll get one mega powerful country, essentially, but I don't want one big mega powerful country. I want to see all these unique smaller ones. So let's use this decision now. That will cost us 15 political power. And that's done. And we might have to wait a second for that to come into effect once we unpause, possibly. Or not. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. So that took a second, like I expected. Imperium or Nomum is now a thing. A king for a kingdom. We have an event here. With our crusade for the Holy Land finally complete, the time has come to elect a monarch for our nation. While many claimants exist to the old title of the King of Jerusalem, there have been some calls for us to crown the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Luigi Barasian Cecina, Luigi Barsasina, as a way to cement the church's rule over these lands. Some have also called for us to simply hold on to the lands ourselves. After all, we are the ones who conquer them. Why not hold on to them for safekeeping? Either way, God's true children once more hold onto the promised land, and we shall not let it fall again. And so we have five, well, basically four candidates here for king, and we're not actually going to do that. We're just going to keep the Drew, we're going to keep the sovereign order of Malta in charge, and so we won't change leaders at all. If this playthrough is particularly very successful, I might one day come back and do playthroughs for some of these guys here, like Carl von Hasbar, making. Carl von Habsburg, he can be king. Victor Emmanuel, the king, he can be king. Alfonso the 13th, he's the king of Spain. Well, I think he's the king of Spain. He was the king of Spain in real life. And then we have the patriarch of Jerusalem. But we're not going to worry about that. The order of Jerusalem. The order shall rule Jerusalem alone. And that means we're not going to change leaders. So Ludovico, Ludovico is going to stay in power. Ludovico Chigi della Riveri Albani. And so we have some unique puppets here, I will say. So in Syria, there is the Principality of Antioch, Antioch led by Edward Fitzherbert. In Anatolia, Anatolian Mandate, led by Antonio Anastasio Rosi. I don't know who any, who any of these people are, but they seem interesting. They have interesting flags, at the very least. Dano Adriban in, well, I think the Latin Empire. That's the Latin Empire, isn't it? Carl, Carlos II. Is that Carl the I I mean, I think it is Carl. Yeah, it is Carl. It just, he looks pretty, he looks somewhat sad to be ruling the Latin Empire. And who else? Armenia is here. There, they exist. Again, the county of Edessa is here. That's led by Carl Pius. And yeah, he's there. And there is then the Ghassanian Kingdom of Arabia. And the Ghassanids were an ancient. Well, they existed at the same time the Sassanid, the Sassanid Empire did, that which is like the early AD era, like say 0 AD to about 600 AD, they existed as a kingdom, well, as, a, as an entity, a political entity, and they were Christian Arabs, essentially. It was a Christian Arab state. And at this point, the Crusader Kingdom, oh, there's also the Crusader Kingdom of Egypt, I forgot about them. And they're led by, who are they led by? Henry, Henry de Orléans, who I think is... He is a member of the Orléans family that also could possibly be, I think they're related to the kings of France, the House of Orléans. And right now, let's advance into North Africa, and we're essentially going to just focus on taking out the Entente at this point with the Third International, because nothing fits together like syndicalist, knight John Lennon, and crusaders looking to defeat a guy who thinks he's Napoleon. Well, he's descended from Napoleon. So, Crusaders versus Napoleon helping syndicalists and socialists. It's all very, I don't know, it's fascinating. And these borders in the Middle East are quite interesting. I like, I don't know, I mean, we get some weird borders, but I guess we'll have to just hand some of it out. The fate of Arabia, liberate a loyal Arabia, Decora declaration of Argentina or something, fate of Yemen, Liberate Yemen. And now Yemen is our puppet, so we should abolish them all. We now have more puppets in Arabia, the Arabian Peninsula. So Malta has done very well for itself, frankly. 
And this path is pretty, well, Malta's content and Kaiser Redux is quite, how to say, entertaining at the very least, I hope. Well, I think it's pretty fun to do from a plane, from a player's perspective. You do some pretty wacky stuff. Peace conference, something happened in Africa. Okay. And can I give out this, give back this land at all? Fate of Azir? Give it to, I don't know, Yemen? Do that. And I can't get, can't get rid of this land here. I'm just holding on to the Darnells forever, aren't I? I think I am. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I mean, I guess it's good for us. The French Empire has capitulated. And that is a victory for us. Great. And I suppose at this point we will ask for naval access from the docking access. Docking rights from the Union of Britain. Ask for military access also. And then we'll use... Okay, the French Empire is going to just be... Pass, 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 pass. Oh my god, it's going to have to hit pass constantly, don't I? Great. Let's just hit done. I don't want no part of this. We don't need anything. And the French Empire is just going to exist, no longer being a part of the... Part of the... How to say the Part of the Entente. That's very awkward. Whatever. Let's turn off player-led conferences. I don't need it anymore. And what do we do about Canada now? That is the question. That is indeed the real question. And the Austrian Empire, it looks like they canceled their lend lease with us. Oh well. That's kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. And how are we going to invade Canada? We have port access from the British, or well, the Union of Britain. Can we use this? No, that's controlled by Canada. I mean, can we use this? Do we invade Denmark? We could no, that wouldn't work. We gotta get to Canada somehow, some way. Can we get military access from the okay, the Union of Britain will give us military access. Does anyone have anything in England I mean in Canada? Anything at all. We gotta get close as close to Canada as possible. That is the plan. Can we get docking rights from anyone here? These people maybe? Docking rights in We have no navy. What am I why am I even bothering to do this? I just need military access. Can we get military access from Puerto Rico? They're surviving for now. Military access from Puerto Rico. That works for me. National Populous Puerto Rico. Thank you so much. They have a port. So maybe we could. No, it isn't going to work. Maybe we could take Bermuda. We could try. I don't know. It's worth an attempt, maybe. Let's get some divisions moved around. Send them all to Puerto Rico. And we can't draw a fallback line there. Oh yeah, we need to wait for them to respond to our request. They say yes, Union of Britain does. Let's send some troops up to Puerto Rico. I mean, to out to out through the Atlantic to Puerto Rico. Put them there. Also put some uni units in Britain for now. Well, you just got to think of something to do. Some way to get to get to Canada and New England. Which is the real conundrum, honestly, because we have no way of getting there unless one of the members of the, well, one of the factions of the Second American Civil War joins the Austrian faction. Select the technology to research, improved infantry equipment too, why not? Why not? And I may have to count on using Bermuda. We had the, maybe we could take Bermuda. If we have a naval invasion go from Puerto Rico to Bermuda, then to Canada, that could possibly work. Let's have four, no, five divisions on that naval invasion because we need to make sure this succeeds. And there we go. Set that up. And try to take Bermuda from the Canadians. That's the aim, anyway. And what else do we need to do here? We have no naval superiority. I mean, we have ships in the Labrador Sea. Wow. That's a lot of ships in the Labrador Sea. We could actually do it. Possibly. I want to do it. Just take Halifax, Nova Scotia. Let's get more divisions set up. And send maybe order restored in the Kingdom of Italy. They're no longer a puppet. Oh no, we lost them. They took their divisions. They, we were using... That's awkward. There goes our entire plan for the naval invasion. Give me those back, Italy. 
Request forces. Where are you going with those guys? Give them back. They're not yours to use yet. The kingdom of Jerusalem is kingdom of Jerusalem is busy. So give them back to the first army. Okay, we gotta spread them out probably a little bit. Yeah, that was a little awkward. That's a little strange. The Italians suddenly took back all their divisions, and we had to get them back because we need them for this war. Because they are carrying carrying the Maltese army at this point, and yeah, they're not really busy doing anything else at this time. Get all these other divisions into one army. That will work for now. Send them to. I guess Malta. Is Malta still the capital? No, I guess Jerusalem is the capital at this point. Yes, it is. It is. Let's just send all these troops to Jerusalem and they can just hang out there. But back to our naval invasion plans. We have three naval invasions on this order. And the entire army of. The, the entire first army is going to go here. Put perhaps. Let's actually just do three militia units for that naval invasion of Bermuda. And let's instead set up a naval invasion that will try to see us land in Newfoundland and fight the enemy there. Also, we could send some troops possibly into New England. I mean, they are part of the Canadian faction, for crying out loud. Could we take Newfoundland, possibly, using this base in Puerto Rico? We could. Get a few divisions here. Like, one division there. Two, actually. We might have a better chance of landing in Newfoundland instead of Canada. I mean, in New England, honestly. And that's going to be all set up. Hopefully that order can go out soon. And once... Okay, Concentrated Industry 3 is complete. Now, let's get some technology we desperately need for the situation we're in. We, in fact, need landing craft. So let's get that done. And we have some free dockyards, make some convoys, and just focus on making some of those. That will work. And we just need, okay, there's some battles going on in the Atlantic Ocean. There's some naval battles there for sure. Good, very good. Let's set up in Canada. I mean, keep sending these troops to the fall of Xinjiang. That's in China, I believe. Send these divisions to the Union of Britain, where they're just going to set up for now and dig in. Just wait for some naval invasions to land in Canada, and hopefully they those do succeed. Okay, are these guys in position yet? No, they're not. Just give it some time. And those orders are that all those naval invasion orders are going to, are going to be set to be activated automatically. The kingdom of the kingdom of Canada declared war in the Australasian Union, which sort of, which kind of broke off and went their own way. Yeah, that happened. And how is the French Empire doing now that they kind of just exist? They are doing, I don't know what they're doing, although they are on a peace treaty with us. They're probably glad they just exist. Invasion is preparing, get that done. The minion of Alaska is called into a war, whatever. Where are these invasions going to be ready? We need superiority. Okay, so naval invasions are going to be set to go. Once we have enough naval supremacy in all the sea regions, we need to start these attacks from Puerto Rico. And these divisions, already, they aren't even in place yet. Wow, so they're not even set up. And the naval invasions are live. I think they are. Yet they're not prepared at all. Modify Officer Corps. Peace conference happened, someone was annexed, that's in the Congo. Alright then. And Navy Focus, I guess, do anti-submarine. We're just trying to use all this military EXP. Air Force, close air support. Doctrines available. Get human wave offensive. Unlock that with our military EXP and a naval invasion has started. Has it? No, they're not in position yet. Never mind. And Puerto Rico is under siege, it appears, or they're going on the offensive. Yeah, they're fighting for St. Martin, maybe. Colombia declared war on the Socialist Republic of Panama, who is a subject of... They're a puppet of Central America, I think. Yeah, they are. No, they're a puppet of Mexico. Okay, so Colombia... 
and Venezuela are fighting Mexico. Don't know why Venezuela's involved. Oh, they're in a faction of the Andean Pact. Okay, that makes sense. And when can these naval invasions be long? Okay, we still need naval supremacy. Come on. Come on, you guys just send some ships out here. Let's make some divisions, I guess. And no, that's not going to work. Never mind. Get some infantry divisions. though. No, we need some infantry. Some Maltese infantry. And just have them set up to be deployed in Jerusalem. And they'll be deployed soon enough. And how are our puppets doing? They're doing all right. Is this... Okay, yeah, they're not our puppets. They're just part of the faction. The Latin Empire is. I did not realize that. I thought they were our puppet, like the county of Edessa was, or, well, the Principality of Antioch, but they aren't. And that's okay, though. And some naval invasions are underway, or no, they're just arriving. Come on! Can you guys just not get naval supremacy here at all? I just want naval supremacy. What is the deal? The Alsace Ultimatum. Oh no, we need ships so badly. The Commune of France declared war on the German Empire. How are we going to fight the British, the Canadians, if we have no ships down here? Why can I just request control over my allies' navy, who is my puppet? I guess we got to make ships our own, make our own vessels. Can I buy a license at all from anyone? License, please? I just need, like, some submarines. License. License. Request license production. Submarines! We need Maltese submarines. They don't have to be good, they just need to be ships. U-20 submarine, that works for me. And we're going to start licensing the production of that. The second Velt Creek is taking place. And that may force the troop, well, the ships we have in... The ships we have, well, the... Navies of Third International to move out of the areas they're in in the, in the Atlantic, and there, it looks like there's a war going on. Well, there's a naval invasion going on here. Brazil is invading Puerto Rico, and I think that's because, yeah. So, poor Puerto Rico. They're fighting the Entente as well as the Reichs Pact. Hopefully, for the sake of our naval invasion, okay, fend it off the Brazilians. That's over with. Doctrines available, land doctrine. Let's get now guerrilla warfare. We're done with that land doctrine stuff at this point. Can we trade for some steel from anyone? How do we have no steel? We control so much territory. Do our puppets have any steel? I would like them to have subject. Give me steel. Hand over all your steel, Italy. Thank you, Italy. Do we have... Okay, whatever. We can't build anything. But we have steel now from the kingdom of Italy. Actually, let's get that from a different puppet. Kingdom of Denmark, join the Reichs Pact. Okay. Let's actually get the steel from someone else. Because I think Italy could use it more efficiently than we can. Let's get all the steel from Egypt. Who, well, the Crusader Kingdom of Egypt. And our goal here is to ultimately deploy enough submarines. We can use them for, well, a naval invasion of Canada. Or New England. Whatever works. And for some reason, it seems that a, what is this, a division from Liberia? For some reason, a division from Liberia is roaming throughout the Latin Empire. Probably, I don't know why they're here. I have no clue. I am lost on the matter. And how is the second Valkyrie going? Belgium was invaded, unsurprisingly. I mean, I guess it got invaded earlier. I mean, their army got destroyed in Serbia. And... Naval invasion, well, stuff's going on there. Okay, we're definitely going to have to get naval supremacy ourselves. We cannot rely on the Third International to do it for us anymore. We still can't get enough steel. I thought we traded for steel. What is the deal? Whatever. Order restored in the Anatolian Mandate for the protection and conversion of the Turkish people. The Great Transcaucasian State declared war on the Great Caucasian State and the Great... The Great Transcaucasian States find the Great Caucasian States, so I don't know who's the Great Caucasian State in that situation. And, yeah. So that's happened. They just peace out? What is the world, what in the world happened there? What, did, was there, was there just like a, I, I'm confused, whatever, forget it then, forget it. Stalin, your, I can't comprehend your plans, they're confusing me. And how are we doing in Puerto Rico? We're still just hanging out there with one entire army, sitting in, sitting on that island. 
Let's do advanced machine tools, get that research. Do we have any submarines out yet? A single submarine can make all the difference here. We have no ships at all. Italy, I would take your navy if I could. I really would. I wish that was an option. Request navy. I mean, I wish... I hope in the future one day Hearts of Iron 4 could have for a, like, a sub... A sub part of request forces, or just expand it, you'd be able to request air wings and navies of your subjects instead of just their army. Because honestly, I do need the... I do need the naval support of our Italian puppet as to as the Kingdom of Jerusalem that would be very helpful in this conflict with the Entente. And I'm the only one trying to do anything here. I'm just having to wait to get submarines, which is just terrific. The first one will be done by, where is it, February 1940. It is currently January 1940. Late February 1940 is when the first U-20 class submarine will arrive in some port belonging to the Kingdom of Jerusalem. And I'm going to end part three of my Malta playthrough and Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there.